Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to day four of our book fair at Narrabri Public School. Of course, it's our online version this year because of our lockdown. Um, the book that I'm reading to you today is from our book fair. So if you jump onto our school website, you'll be able to look at our online catalogue and buy any books from our book fair that way. If you have any questions at all, or you're a bit confused about something and how to go about it, please email me. The email address is there on our school website. I'm very happy for you to contact me and um, I'll do my best to help you out. Also on the website, there are book week activities and, of course, story time with me. Um, so there's lots to do in the book week activities. If you click on that link, there's quite a few things that you can do, including a competition which we will announce the winner on Friday. Um, it's called Book Face Competition, where you sort of have to um, blend uh, the cover of a book with somebody's face or body parts, which is pretty cool. So there's instructions or examples, I should say, um, on that. So you sort of have an idea of what we're asking for. There's been some really creative things come in, so we look forward to seeing them. You can send them in via our um, Google form, which is listed in quite a few places, um, or you can email me those as well. That's fine. Um, the other thing that we're asking students to do is dress up in a book week theme. Of course, the theme this year is old worlds, new worlds and other worlds. Um, and we're asking students to please dress up at home and take a photo and send that in to us at school you can um, do that via the Google form as well and, and the address for that Google form is all over the place on our school website and Facebook. Um, so we really look forward to seeing students dressing up at home and Miss Buck is going to create a video to share all of our photos for everybody to see in our school community and, and we're really excited about that. So please try and get that done um, today or sort of by early-ish tomorrow morning. So Miss Buck has time to get that done and we already are looking forward to being on our school grounds next year to really share in the excitement of Book Week together in person. So the book that I'm sharing with you today is The Very Noisy Bear by Nick Bland. This was published in 2015 and everybody probably knows um, The Very Cranky Bear, which is a real favourite, and that was published in 2008. So let's see what The Very Noisy Bear has to share with us. Great rhyming books and, and really fun for everybody to join in with. I'm just trying to get the light okay for you. In the jingle jangle jungle there was music in the air and it landed in the ears of a very sleepy bear. Excuse me said the bear to the music making sheep. Your band is very noisy and it's time for me to sleep. Now that you're awake, said Sheep, perhaps you'd like to stay. Have you ever tried the jungle drums? They're really fun to play. Lion was on the jungle drums and Bear began to smile. I suppose if I could play the drums, I'd stay a little while. He sat upon the tiny stool. Boom, bang, bash. Boom, went the noisy bear. Boom, boom, crash. It's harder than it looks, said Lion, to play a jungle drum. You might prefer an instrument. You only have to strum. Zebra had a striped guitar. She handed it to Bear. You hold it over here, she said, and strum it over there. Bear started strumming softly. Then he strummed a little more. 
Then he started strumming wildly with his massive strumming paw. But his claws were long and curly and they tangled in the strings. Never mind, said Zebra. Guitars are tricky things. Moose held up his trumpet. Would you like to have a go? All you have to do, he said, is take a breath and blow. Bear took in a giant breath and blew with all his might. The trumpet made a screeching noise and all the birds took flight. The elephant stampeded and all the monkeys left. Everyone took cover until Bear was out of breath. Your lungs are awfully strong, said Sheep. You must be very proud. But there is another instrument that isn't quite as loud. Have you ever tried a microphone? It's just a simple thing. You only have to hold it up, clear your throat and sing. She handed Bear the microphone and counted up to four. The band began to play a tune and Bear began to, what will the next word be? Roar! Roar went the noisy bear. Roar, roar, roar. More, cheered the audience. More, more, more. The elephants were dancing and the monkeys sang along. He roared in perfect harmony through every single song. Then when the show was over and the moon had settled in, when everyone was fast asleep, what's that bear going to be doing? Oh, he tried the violin. Goodness me. I don't know how I'd feel about being woken up by a violin. Wouldn't be very nice, would it? So there's the very noisy bear and that is available at our online book fair. Thank you boys and girls for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that book. I certainly did and we look forward to seeing pictures of you dressed up for book week and sharing in the rest of the excitement for the week. Also don't forget to enter our book face competition. See you.